A look at what's going on in that streak of rain and snow that's out there extending from the Dakotas through Minnesota all the way on down to Nashville, really almost to Atlanta. Uh, that particular streak is going to be advancing eastward a little bit in the next 24 hours. So by late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, that streak will be right about through here. There's a little bit of a low pressure area joining into it. It'll rotate around with it as well. It's going to kick off some rain, uh, but it'll be mostly to our southwest coming up for Saturday night uh, during the overnight hours. We've got a few clouds through the area for right now and a light wind uh, with that cloud cover holding the temperature up a bit. But then as skies clear, we'll end up with temperatures dropping on down to about 30, 35 degrees for the overnight hours and a fairly light wind out of the north to northwest. Here's where things are by one in the afternoon. It's still sunshine, but we got cloud cover moving on in. There's where it is by four o'clock in the afternoon. We'll be in the upper 40s. There's where we are by seven o'clock in the evening. Rain is out there. Now, some forecast models earlier have had it a little bit closer on into the area, uh, so we'll have to watch for that. I, I tend to think it's going to show up after dark, regardless for the area. That's where things are by 10 o'clock in the evening and then on to the overnight hours. You know, obviously, there's some snow out there, but we've got some rain in low 40s into the region coming up by uh, Sunday morning at 1, Sunday morning at 4 in the morning. It reaches into the Hampton Road cities and really earlier runs of the forecast. Forecast model have taken it all the way on up here to almost Williamsburg. Uh, but the farther south you are, the better your chances of rainfall. Certainly, North Carolina, you're going to get rain. South side, you'll get off and on rain during the overnight hours. And there's where we are by Sunday morning. A few stray showers into Virginia, widespread rain into North Carolina. You can see the snow is way out off toward Lake Gaston. Uh, so, again, we're not likely to get it. Could see a little bit of a mix into the area, uh, but I don't think it's going to stick uh, for the Hampton Roads area. Certainly, we could. Could see a little bit right on into here uh, toward Murfreesboro, toward uh, toward uh, Hertford County. So we'll want to watch out for that uh, during the overnight hours, Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday during the afternoon hours, it'll be windy by the end of the day. Could see a stray shower, but that's not going to dominate the day. A uh, big thing that will dominate over the weekend is the fact that it's going to be chilly uh, during the daylight hours. Now we go into next week. We'll start things off Sunday night and just let it roll between Sunday uh, and on to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And so then by Wednesday evening, there's some rainfall uh, to our west, and it's quite a bit warmer uh, by Wednesday. As we are by Thursday, and there's some rain moving on in. We'll see some off and on rain during the day on Thursday, according to the forecast models thus far. Uh, and again, it's still far away, so it's subject to change. We'll finally see a lot of rain coming up during the day on Friday. So that's our weather. Expect and snow totals. There could be a light wintry mix into some of these areas, but a light wintry mix means nothing on the ground uh, coming up. It'll happen during the overnight hours. Uh, you'll wake up where you've had this rain and had some uh, action into your area. You'll wake up with wet streets on Sunday morning and maybe a stray shower or two, but it'll just be a chilly day. It'll be a chilly weekend. Uh, again, sunshine for the first part of the day tomorrow. Clouds will roll in in the afternoon. We'll see some late, really nighttime showers into the area, and it could end as a few stray showers coming up on Sunday morning fairly early. It'll last a little bit longer into North Carolina, 47, then 46, then 50, 53 on Tuesday. Then we start to warm up. The average high temperature this time of year for Wednesday is 62, so we're going to be above average by the